Make the play, kid. Come on. That was the best play I have seen in years, kid. The whole vault is singing your praise this season. Looks like Briggs Patriots put another trophy on the shelf, thanks to you. Now, I've been told you've got a career to look forward to. You made the final touchdown of the season, so that should give you just about any job you want in here. Shame you can't put it to real use out in the wasteland. With a backbone like that, you could do a lot of good up top. I'm proud to have done it. I enjoy making my vault proud. Well, that's real good, kid. A real group mindset. But this is a moment to be proud of yourself. Never put the collective above your own success. That's what I've always lived by. There comes a time where you have to pick your own team. It can't just be the one you're born into, either. It has to be the right choice in who you throw your weight behind. I was talking to Chevy up in the security department. Those goddamn morons in the overseer's office actually want to put you to work in maintenance. Idiots don't know what kind of attitude you have. How would you like to work for Vault Security, kid? <laughs> you sound like you're running for overseer, coach. I am. And I suppose you're a genuine patriot. I've never been a big fan of our benevolent Vault Tech overlords. I'm here to represent democracy and the American way. We're gonna bring America back to glory. How about it, kid? Uh, sure, but I ought to get going, coach. Hey, kid, before you go, I want to ask you something. You were born in the wasteland, from what I understand. Now, I'm new to this place, and I like to get to know all my best players. But I don't know much about you yet. Not much to tell, honest. Lived in Vault 18 my whole life. I... adopted like everyone else. Huh, strange. Well, at any rate, you've been raised by your fellow Americans, and that's all that matters to me. I'm starting to organize an after-school program for motivated athletes like yourself, and I'd like you to be there. You've picked yourself a bright future, but what if one day that future was threatened? Would you be willing to stand up next to me and fight for your country? My country? You mean the vault? Yeah, sure, a few extra hours wouldn't hurt. Don't be a moron. I mean America. This ain't just a concern for a few extra hours. It's a lifetime commitment. I'm talking about the possibility of this vault falling to the tide of outside forces. I'm talking about the new California Republic. The survivalists, super mutants. And it doesn't just stop at the vault door. Not all of us have been calling Vault 18 home for 200 years. You know what's up there? What's coming like it came for the others? You can't just sit and hide while the powers above storm over this great nation.
People like you and I have got to fall in and throw our weight behind an effort to save the America we survived to protect and serve. You understand what I'm saying. Uh, Coach, I don't know if you noticed, but America's been dead for a reason, Sergeant, Sergeant Nasty. Well, shit! Ain't you a clever little lab rat? Good job knowing your books and seeing the mistakes of the past. Now listen here, you fucking moron. This great country got bent over because of brainiac dimwits that thought their ideas were greater than following orders. Why don't you trip over your shit stain and check out that vigor tester on the wall by the door? I'm interested to see just how well a moron like you can survive in this world. Then get your petty waste of an attitude the fuck out of my office before I break your face over the corner of this desk. Huh, ain't he a charmer? Well, let's get going. And here we have tonight's vault hero. You really know how to handle yourself, big guy. Can I ask for a quick post-game play-by-play? For you, Jen, I've got hours. Great. I've just got some mm, stuff to talk to you about. You know, vault drama. We'll get it over with quick. All right, see you there. I've got some stuff to t take care of first, though. Sure. Don't keep me waiting, Tiger. I'm gonna blast him in the face with a gun. Well, at least I hope so. Cause I'm not looking to join up with these goddamn Enclave Patriots, I'll tell you that much. I'm a tribal through and through. By George, I stand with my fellow tribals. I stand for the fault.
man, that was one hell of a game. One of those kids from downstairs. It's kind of hard to keep track when you're trapped in this place all the time. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh, hey! You're here to see Chevy? Yeah, can I come in? Sure you can, sport. Just remember that Chevy. Well, she's a tough one. Tread carefully. Come on. Mistress, the player that won the football game is here to see you. Your brother sent him. I know. Thank you, Aaron. You are dismissed. Y yes of course So you're the replacement. What's your name, recruit? Doug Jones, but your brother calls me he is star player. Interesting. Try again. Doug Jones, ma'am. Hmm. And why is it you want to join Vault Security? Uh, you know what? I think I made a b bit of a mistake here. I'm gonna go work for maintenance. How about that? <laughs> Wise. And brave. You may make a good soldier after all. Really? You know, just like that? Yes. It takes a wise person to back down from an opportunity they don't see themselves fit for. It's a lucrative post. Would you like to try again? Uh, sure. What do you want me to say exactly? Very good. You may start with what questions you have for me. Go ahead. All right. What kinds of training do I need to have to get access to the best weapons? There are many ways that I'll train you, physically and mentally. You're a born soldier, and that makes you my perfect match. For now, you should ask John what he would have you do. Is there a special permission or requirement to be a Wasteland Scout? Dr. Rossman is the one who decides who joins the Wasteland Scouts, and it's Sergeant Norman who approves and leads missions. Dr. Rossman will either be in the computer lab or in his home preparing for bed in the lower apartments. You should seek him out to hear his stories. They may teach you something about serving me. Why'd you decide to admit me just like that? John isn't as... perceptive as I am. I know a soldier when I see one, even when they don't know it themselves. I'm not simply a security officer, I am a lieutenant. When it is time to fight, my place is beside my men, making sure that my troops survive. If I haven't done well in teaching them to listen, then I will fail in that mission. What have you learned of me so far? I've learned that I'm way out of my depth here, ma'am. You're learning quickly. You're humble. I give you a chance to make mistakes, and you step in line. That's a trait I appreciate. You've impressed me enough that I may send you back to John. I know he'd like to see you again after you're done here. 
Well, I need to get to bed. Thanks for the opportunity, ma'am. I'll see you tomorrow. Exactly. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 0500. Do not complain. Do not be late. Great work out there today. Have a good night. Well, best if I be getting out of here. Lieutenant Chevy, creepy as hell, especially with the eye patch. As I'd love to get to know more about her, I'll pass. Still, why would Coach Bragg admit me to security? Hell, just because I'm, you know. Go find this. What? Well, let's go find this Dr. Rossman guy. I need to know everything I can before finding Jen and, uh, you know. That Coach Brad guy. Jeez. Thinks he's fighting for America. <laughs> he's about to be wrong. Oh, sweet home. Oh, I'm sure you'll be in and out of this more than an athlete is in and out of other folks' beds. Give me a pistol, security armor, but no fucking ammo.
Hey, you hear that kid from the lower apartments? You need something. Um, hi. I'm a little busy right now. What's on your mind? Huh. I just wanted to talk to you, see how you've been. Just, like, looked a little lonely. Well, you look a little bit lost. Let me help you. The door is right there. Hey, don't be like that. I'm not a bad guy. I'm just, just being nice. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't invite you for a chat, though, did I? Listen, I don't actually have time for pointless conversation. Well, I might, if you did my job for me. But really, I don't think you're that smart. Let me guess, you're having a bad day. No, I'm having a bad you. Now get out of here before you trip on your tongue and break something. Dr. Ross. Yo, Jack, your ears still ringing from the game? The overseer wants to see you in his office. It's all over the intercom. Just because you can run fast or some shit doesn't mean you get to ignore the overseer. Yeah, sure. How do I get there? We've lived in this vault for how long and you still don't know how to get there? Ugh. Follow me. Congratulations to the Patriots on yet another win against the Vault Barbarians. Why don't you send the winning player up to my office? I'd like to work with them. Oh, this is gonna be fan-fucking-tastic. Let's go meet with the Overseer. Great. Which way was it? Yeah, we need How's that way through the clinic? Great. I would love to ignore the Overseer. I really would. But, let's go meet with the guy. Let's see what the hell he wants.
overseer will see you now. Ball juggler. Yeah. Bright glow. Nice. Stupid. Damn it. Should have stuck with Bright. Jackass. So, sounds like you've had an eventful evening. First you score the last touchdown of the season, then you get a coveted post with Vault Security. You're shaping up to be a real mover and shaker. What do you plan to do next? Uh, escape the Vault Star of my own wasteland empire. Ha! <laughs> Such a kidder. Now listen here, kid. I've got that Bragg fellow beating the election by ten points, but that doesn't mean he's out of the game. Bragg offered you that post with his freaky sister down in security. I want to know why. What did he offer you, and what does he expect in return? <laughs> Bragg's charming bring America back to glory stuff. To worry you? Maybe. Possibly. Look, Bragg is the vault sweetheart. He's a hardliner. Big on security, low on spending. I get that, but... The man is a tyrant. He's been driving these kids like dogs, and not just on the field. He has them running laps with machine guns, for God's sake. You know about his after-school program, those long speeches about America and restoring it to purity? Do you know what kind of a man fills a child's head with those machinations? A dictator. I'm worried that after Bragg loses the vote for the overseer's office, he won't take it peacefully. That's why I called you up here, to get your perspective. So why'd you call me in here? This isn't gonna be an easy talk, kid. People in the admin office think Bragg's not content with taking over as overseer by popular vote. They think he's planning a coup, with Chevy supplying him with guns and Bragg training his patriots day and night. So I'm, I'm worried the whispers may be true. What do you know about Bragg and Chevy's plans tomorrow? They gave you that post in security. You've gotta have heard something. I was offered the position in service of, of my vault country, sir. God, they got to you too. How much of that macho bullshit has gone to your head? Are you more interested in protecting the vault or that cockamamie America cult garbage? Oh, come on. You don't really believe that boogeyman stuff is dangerous, right? I don't know what to believe. You know those crazy half cocked patriot types? One minute they're talking jibber jabber political nonsense, the next they're waving guns in your face. Bragg voted last season to let the gun controls in Vault 18 run wild. Now they're everywhere, but only his kids know how to use them. They outnumber Vault security three to one. We didn't let this happen, they created it. All right, now what do you need me to do? I want you to keep an eye on them. Watch what they're doing, report back to me. If the Patriots are up to something, we ought to know about it. Sure. If I get a bad feeling, I'll definitely let you know. That's all I wanted to hear. All right, then I'll let you go. I'm sure you and your brother Sean have some trouble to get into. Go on. <sighs> Something just doesn't feel right. I may have a clue. just doesn't feel right. Only the Patriots know how to use the guns? Why was I issued a 9 mil, mi nine mil pistol? What the hell are you doing out on that fucking field? You nearly broke my fucking kneecap. 
I'm going to be flying at half mast the rest of the goddamn night. I hope you're happy. Look, Johnny, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to injure you like this. Didn't mean to my ass. You're a patriot. I'm a barbarian. You jerk offs are always gunning for us. I bet old daddy Red State told you to bust my ass on purpose. We're the fucking B team he uses as target practice. Why don't you go back there and suck the star spangled dick? If you motherfuckers want a real fight, how about we settle it off court next time? Hello? I don't even like Bragg or his douchebag patriot. I only wanted to help my team. <laughs> yeah, right. You weren't even on the team until last night. Look, I'm sorry, alright. I was just following orders. Well then, I guess I'm a little sorry. But you do know that gun-toting blowhard is just using you, right? There's rumors he's planning to rig the overseer's election. You know anything about that? But it sounds shitty, and I want no part of it. Okay, well, fuck. Now I feel like a dick. How about this? I'm sorry for trying to jump all over you. I'm just sick of being treated like a basement dweller. So if I find out you've been helping Bragg's thugs for real, I'll bust your ass. Deal? Sure. I hope that leg of yours gets better. Yeah. Maybe after a few rounds of medics. Now get out of here and let me rest. I'm not liking it.
I wish we could go outside the vault. When I was a kid, they used to let us out to watch the sunrise. Now it always feels like we're hiding. Uh, tell me about it. I really hope they get that generator fixed up soon. Everywhere I go, there's a weird buzz from the lights. It's driving me crazy. No kidding. What the hell are you doing in the gym after curfew? You better get out of Curfew. Yeah. Hey! What the hell are you- You better get out of here, or I'll have Chevy deal with you. Now go on, get-
Hey, anything going on? Nothing I know of, kid. It's about time for you to go to bed, ain't it, star player? Lieutenant Chevy said you had some information for me, sir. Yes, I do. We've already talked about the Patriot program, but I've got another important topic to discuss. I'm running for Overseer, and my team is planning to come up with a defense strategy in case the vault is ever breached. I have a feeling we'll have to accelerate our plans. I'll be assembling our best and brightest minds to lead a group of Patriots in defense drills tonight. There aren't many youngins left in Vault 18, so you kids are it. I want to give you the key to a special locker in the security office. If anything ever happens, you run right there and get what's in it. But what's in it exactly? That doesn't matter, kid. It's a secret, and it's all yours. I know I can trust you to take that decision to heart. Was there anything else you need? Hey, Coach. Lieutenant Chevy said I have what it takes to be a soldier. Do you love me now? Barely. After all, you have a way about you that pisses me off. But then again, she has the eyes to see what I don't. If you can prove to me what she sees, then I'll let you in on a secret. In my long line of jobs out in the wasteland, I was a soldier at one point. I remember my first assignment as if it were yesterday. I was cocky, just like you were. Hell, I almost committed treason thinking my CO was a bad guy. But after I stood tall before the man, I squared up. I know a winning team when I see it. I don't tell many people about my past. It's a security risk. You, you've earned my respect. Make sure it stays that way. I wanted, I just wanted to ask you some questions, Coach. Great questions. What is it? I want to hear what you know about the wasteland. Well then, you do have that glimmer of greatness in your eyes. What do you want to know? I want to know what it's like out in the wastes. It's hell on earth, kid. I've seen cities sunken below seas of radioactive sand. The ashes of the dead choke in the air. There are places in this world where the fires of war still burn as if the bombs fell yesterday. Most everything kind about what's above ground is a mirage shimmering out of the corner of your eye tempting you to make a wrong move. I've seen the eyes of Satan glimmer in the dark with bullet holes next to my head when I wake up in the morning, and I've felt the ghosts of ages past whisper on my shoulder before blowing away in the dust. You feel trapped even out in the open. Not even the cool breeze of the coming rain across your sun-cracked skin is good news. The only hope is that someday You'll hear on the airwaves the song of an army coming to save the day. The song of America starting to wake up from her nightmare. Father Time breathing life back into her dreams. Where did you come from, Coach? You said you grew up out there. Well, since you're a good kid and my star player, I'll give you this one for free. I come from a settlement far north of here up where the pines still grow. My ancestors came from the great state of Idaho, whose plains and fields were blown to kingdom come during the Great War. The U.S. had hundreds of ICBMs set up there, and the Reds retaliated by turning it into miles of glass craters. Bastards. I grew up with my ma and pop on a little ranch, protected by a group of truly benevolent soldiers who I lucked up to very much. 
I remember looking out the window of my room at the Golden Fields and imagining that I was one of them. But that, that was a long time ago. I came here after I was told I could make a better life here for myself and my sister. So we set up a caravan of supplies and made our way to Vault 18, where we've lived ever since. Maybe one day, you'll get a chance to see my compound where I grew up and meet the soldiers there. But for now, you better go and get slate. Almost time for me to catch a beer with Chevy and turn in. Well, I have to go. Thanks for the talk, coach. You betcha, kid. just doesn't feel right. I just have this uneasy feeling in my gut. I guess I'll find out soon once I get topside. Stairs. It's kind of hard to keep track when you're trapped in this place all the time. Yeah, tell me about it, buddy. Hey, kid. Here to see my daughter, are you? Yes, sir, I am. May I come in? Hmm. You're that kid from next door. I haven't seen you around much. Jin said you'd be stopping in to help her with a little problem. Just make sure it's not going to get the two of you into trouble. She just said she wanted to have a talk after the big game, sir. Hmm. Jen is a good judge of character. You might work out all right, if you can manage. Get in, before someone notices you. What do you think, Jen? I'm not paying attention. Come on. You don't have to freak him out. He's safe to talk to. I promise. I just want to make sure you're right. There's no one better to ask. I may not be a legendary wasteland scout, but I trust my instinct. If Bragg is half as bad as I think he is, your instincts might be leading you into a trap. I learned from the best. Just trust me. Even the best can make mistakes, Jen. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming. I know it's your big night and all. Probably everybody wants a piece of the star player's action, huh? So, what do you want to talk about? Uh, well, I know you just had a chance to talk to Coach Bragg and Lieutenant Chevy. 
I was wondering if you managed to, well, see a secret list when you were in there. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of Coach Bragg or his crazy-ass sister. Really? Oh, thank God. Me neither. The guy scares me. Like, he's got a really dark presence to him. Here's the condensed version of the story. I've been watching Bragg and the Patriots for a while now. You know, spy stuff. So last night, I overheard him talking about this list he keeps on his terminal in his office. Everyone in the vault is on it, and they're organized somehow by letter, like some kind of itinerary. I wouldn't normally care, but he mentioned me directly. At first I thought he noticed me listening in the hall, but I'm a real good spy. He said that I'm on the B list because I'm not smart or fit enough to make it onto his winning team, but I'm fit for other things. So what do you want me to do? I... I know this sounds stupid, but if you could talk to him? You're his best player, and I know you have a way with words. It's a long shot, but maybe he could honestly tell you what it's about, and then I'd be okay. Maybe it's just a stupid health thing or whatever. But what if it isn't? Dad is a wasteland scout. He's... seen things. He told me that Bra gives him a good feeling, but it's never that simple. Vault 18 has a dozen enemies. And some of the shit Bragg has been training his patriots to do? It's getting scary. Huh. Huh. Well, I'll check into it. I'll be right back. Like I said, I hope it's nothing. But if it isn't, then I want to know about it. I'm studying every day to become a wasteland scout like Dad. It's something I'm really passionate about. If Bragg really is up to no good with his patriots, then the Overseer will listen to me. I can't just bring this to him without proof, though, which is where you come in. Bragg trusts you. He'll be willing to talk. Let me know what you find, and if you won't hand over the information, we'll go on an adventure together. Good luck. Time to get Bragg to talk. Jen mentioned something about a secret list. I need to know what the hell it is. the hell? Sparkle Cola? With a Nuka Cola on top? What the hell's going on? 